Good afternoon beautiful people welcome to Kate Space I'm Kate from Pixie K Designs and today I am going to continue doing some work in this really cute little uh, sort of cherub devotional journal that I'm making for somebody now the other one I made came with a little envelope of goodies and I thought I would do that again so I'm going to use this beautiful piece of music uh, manuscript cover I hoard these I have got quite <laughs> I've got quite a lot but I still hoard them now I'm I'm gonna I don't want to cut too much off so I'm actually gonna make the envelope to go with the book rather to go than to go in the book because I don't want to make it too small so I'm probably gonna make it about this width so that's the first thing I'm gonna do to make this envelope is fold over just to that edge of that frame on each side and that will give me the width because I don't want to lose that beautiful now when you're working with these uh, they're quite um, they can be quite delicate because they're old um, you just don't find things like this anymore and I know with the other one I had actually bound it into the middle of a signature and it will just the paper was just too delicate to um, to stay there, so I ended up pulling it out and, and using some washi tape to strengthen it. I'm probably going to put some... This one's actually a lot thicker. It's not cracking. Probably doesn't need too much um, reinforcing, but I probably will use some tape. Now we just need to decide how deep we want it and what we want to see. So I probably want that to be my lid about there. So I'm going to start with what I want my lid to be. Okay, so yeah, bend that over. And then, of course, then that will be, this will be the depth, but I don't think I want it that big. Oh, yeah. Why not? Could be that big. All right, let's do it that big. Let's not chop any off. I mean, you could fold this little bit under to strengthen it. Maybe I should have done that. I'm going to put some, just some masking tape on this fold because you're not really going to see in there. So it doesn't need to be pretty. Just needs to be functional. And that'll strengthen that fold there. Right, now we do our little snippy snippy bits. So as always, I always have to think hard. We don't want this bit here. So am I going to cut it or tear it? I'll cut it. So these bits are going to angle down this way. So I'm going to just do a shallow sort of angle into that edge. And then I'm just going to cut up that fold. And then I'm going to repeat that on the other side. So angle down that way. I'm not going to try and get it exactly the same. Often I would probably try and get it exactly the same, but... So that's the lid, and it just needs to be... Need to look a bit straighter. We could actually take some off here so it doesn't come down so far. We could fold this under and make that a bit heavier because it's going to have one of those. Um, hopefully, I've done that kind of straight. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So beautiful. Right. Um, and then we don't need this bit here. So again, we do our angle. We cut at an angle this way. I think. Yep. And actually, I might even just tear this one off here. How is everybody? I hope everybody's well. We're well. Just back from a flying, literally, visit to back to Auckland again. Um, because 
one of my daughters and her partner have a company that um, manages events and they were doing they were basically doing the build for one of the big concerts in Auckland called Symphony in the Domain uh, the Domain is a big old park in very central Auckland it's a beautiful it's the, the museums there and the winter gardens and it's a beautiful sp space and so they basically turned that into a not a city but um, almost and there were two stages of a DJ stage and the main stage but anyway she managed to get us free tickets and my second eldest daughter was over with her partner and, and daughter baby for a 30th and so they were going to go and my eldest daughter and her partner who haven't been out together for I don't know how long I think they did go to a wedding not long ago but um, yeah, they were going to go. So we were like, yep, we're going to go. We're going to go out with the kids. We're going out with the young'uns. And, oh my gosh, we had just, we had a, such a ball. It was so cool to be out with them. So this doesn't, this has got a bit here that I'm not happy with. So I'm going to cut that off. I hope it's, so as you can see, I haven't done it even. You know, it's not the same on each side. Oh well, too bad. I could change that, I suppose. So yeah, a bit tired from the weekend, flying up. We flew up on the Saturday morning and walked into our hotel and then met the, everyone at the hotel and then we walked across Grafton Bridge. It was a beautiful hot day, everybody walking to the festival and it was really amazing how they managed. They had a lot of areas, so there was like a GA area, a premier GA area. So there was really lots of families could go and so there were children and... The music was amazing, and what symphony is, if um, for those of you who don't know, it's basically the orchestra. So I think it's the Auckland Philharmonic, or they put together a, a, a symphony orchestra or a philharmonic orchestra, and they play popular songs and maybe some house music songs, pop songs, rock songs, and they put them to or orchestra, and um, it is. Basically, the musical director is a DJ called Dick Johnson, who is a New Zealand DJ. And he's been doing it for a while, but this was the biggest one. There were about thirty-three to 35,000 people there. And the light show and the, um, yeah, it was, it was fantastic. We had such a good time. So glad we went. Right, shall I glue that down for a bit more strength? I might as well stop chatting and get on with it, right? <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. So yeah, so apart from being a bit tired and you know, it's this I told you this month was going to be busy. So today is Monday and on Thursday we fly uh, back out to, but this time we're going to Brisbane. And we are lucky, um, well I'm lucky enough to be going to see Pink. David's coming with me. I think he's a little bit cautious about how much you'll like it but honestly she puts on I've never seen her but I know she puts on an amazing show so I've wanted to go and see Pink for a long long time it's, you know she's one of those artists I've listened to for so many years and I've never seen her so she is coming to New Zealand but when the tickets came out the ones in Brisbane came out first and they, we bought them a long time ago and David said let's go to Brisbane we'll see the girls so we get to see Michaela and Nick, who've just been in New Zealand again. So when I said goodbye to them on Saturday night, I was like, oh, well, see you next weekend, <laughs> which was so cool because that's really not sort of our reality because they live so far away. But anyway, so that's good. And I get to see my youngest girl, my baby, and her partner and go to see Pink and have some really lovely hot weather. They said it's super hot. And muggy, humid, which the humidity won't be so much fun, but especially if you're a curly-haired girl, turns your hair into a bit of an afro, but I'm just going to embrace it or tie it up, one or the other. Okay, so there we have our basic envelope. Now I want to decorate it. And I'll probably do a similar thing to what I did on the other one, if I can make it look the same. And I just basically had a little thing some lace hanging down I know I had a pocket actually the 
here I am I'm gabbing away the one I made was actually from the 100 day project and it had a little pocket on it had a little sort of thing on the back and I'm wondering I've got some more of this sort of lace fabric I could make a pocket on the back of this one and I guess it kind of disguises the upside down nature of the envelope which I don't mind anyway but it would be quite fun so we could cut some of this down and make a little pocket on the back and that could just hang down a little bit which would be cute so I might cut it along along there okay so I'll cut a bit off I'll just see if I've got my fabric scissors sitting here they were here on my desk not now though I can't find the ones I normally use so I'm going to use these scissors but I've also just seen this which I do love this lace I sort of hoard it it's got that gold in it it's a very old lace I can never I wonder if I should use just use that which one Can't decide. I think I'll use this one. Try and remember which where I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it about there. Hopefully that'll be alright. Had a real taste of sort of autumn this sort of weekend and week, you know, with a cooler mornings and um, just a cool breeze hopefully it's just a a little cold snap and that will get hot again not ready for autumn the days are you can see feel the days getting or see the days getting shorter so the mornings are, are sort of darker do you think that'll be all right as a pocket I think so Right, so that's going to go there. I'm just going to cut that through there. Get that out of the way. Right, so that's that back of the envelope there. And on the front, we decide which way we're going to push it on the... I'm going to have this little bit of lace and I've got a little cut out somewhere. This dear wee little thing and I think I'm going to cut around here try really carefully to get around that Oop. around that circle So again, and I've, I've, I know I've said this before to you guys, when we go away for a length of time, we get a house sitter or house sitters to come. So that's what's happening this time as well. And so we have to get the house ready. <laughs> so it's always like a big, quite a big deal. I mean, they stay here for free, so the place doesn't have to be perfect. But, yeah, you know, there's stuff you want to do to make it look nice. So that's that. And I thought a bit of red, maybe. Let's chop this off. I'm not sure I'm in frame. I've got my camera. I think what I had on the other one was some of that laundry label, which I'd quite like to use. So I'm just going to go find that. Again, I don't have a lot of this, and it's something that I hoard. But I might stitch that up there. Because I like that little pop of red. Okay, so I'm just going to have a look at the other one and see what else I did because I really liked it and I'd quite like it to be the same. So I'll be back in just a minute. I was wondering about popping some something 
else, but that's pretty much all that was on there. But this was stitched, so let's do that. It's not much to stitch it to, but it will look cute. Little red stitches. So just some little running stitches along there and then down. That way. And I may as well go all the way around while I'm at it. So yeah, I'm away. I, we fly out on the 15th of Feb. That's the day, that's the eight year anniversary of the day David and I met. And so we are gonna fly to Brisbane and where I've booked a really nice hotel. And we're gonna go out for dinner. And so that will be a really nice day, even though we'll be, there is a three hour difference. So we'll probably be all out of whack as far as um, when we're hungry and when our meals are. I think I've booked a really early dinner, t I think. And there's a lovely pool at this hotel. My daughters have been before and they say it's really nice, so I've treated us. And, um, yeah, the next day, the Friday, we will maybe go and do a bit of shopping. I need to find a dress for my daughter's wedding. So... Three of my four daughters are engaged, and the first one to get engaged is getting married in October. And so, of course, you know, it's that whole thing of the mother of the bride and her dress. <laughs> and, yeah. I don't know. It's going to be summery. Uh, it's not a super formal wedding, which I'm really pleased about. So I'm just going to... I want to get something... Probably it's just something pretty and floaty and something that I can wear again, basically. I think I want to put some glitter on her, but then I'm going to have to wait for it to dry. But that's okay because I want to make some little circly clo uh, policy closure things. And actually, I'm wondering if I double this up, these might be, this might be strong enough and they could match. Yeah. I reckon. So let's glue this together. Should we glue it together first and then punch it? Or uh, punch it first? Yeah, so that I might do a little bit of shopping to see if I can find a dress for that. Um, there's just very... There's not huge options shopping-wise here in New Zealand. We... Especially where, and especially where I live, Auckland's probably a little bit better. But I thought, oh well, I'll look while I'm in Australia. So that's sort of what I'm thinking. And also uh, shoes maybe, because again, I really struggle to find shoes that fit. Here, I've got really, really small feet. And yeah, so anyway... That'll be fun anyway, just going. And I think um, David likes, you know, shopping for things as well. And, you know, the shops are different and, yeah. And then we'll go and we'll stay with Lily and Stefan out in Griffin. They live in Griffin in Brisbane. And that'll be really fun. We're going to take them out for dinner. They've been saving very, very, very hard for a house. And so they really don't treat themselves at all. Um, yeah, they're just being so frugal. So we're going to take them out. That'll be so much fun. And then Saturday is the concert. So 
So yeah, I'm going to be super excited. Now I'm going to glitter them up. I don't know if I've shown you guys this. My sister bought me this little salt and pepper shaker. I saw who had it. It might have been Rhonda from Joy Junk Teak or Dodie Lace Girl who had their glitter in a really beautiful crystal salt and pepper shaker. And I thought, oh, I want one of those. But I couldn't find them. And then Jo found these and she bought them for me for a gift and gave them to me last time I was up there. And I love them. They're so cute. So thank you, Jo, if you're watching. Uh, yeah, so she's Little Crumple Suitcase. And she does lots of thrift shopping and uh, shows what she has found online. Right, I need a little bit of paper for this to go on to, to catch it. I think these are going to be strong enough because they just have to... Yeah, and so a bit of art glitter glue. Yeah, so yeah, I'll list her channel below if you want to go and have a little look at what she she finds some pretty cool things. If you like those kind of videos, some people do, some people aren't so into them, but I quite like watching what people find. Yeah, so I'm thrilled with my little glitter shakers. So that's some glass glitter. Do I want to put glass glitter on her or I need to ink her first. I'm going to do some dark ink around her edges, I think. these so these are going to have to dry hopefully they won't take too long art glitter glue doesn't take too long to dry so i might just get some just i can't decide whether i want to put some glitter on her or not you know what i don't think i'm going to i'm going to i'll just put this back in here try not to get it everywhere That's right, Christmas. I did actually make a really lovely Christmas journal cover that I might work on through the year. I don't know about you guys, but I always get behind when it's holidays, like it's Easter coming up, and have I done anything Eastery? No. No, I haven't. Okay, so I might what I might do is just put a little bit of gold. Yeah, a little bit of gold glitter on the tree. Just a touch. That'll do. Not much. And so now we have to let her dry as well. <laughs> Put that over there and try and remember not to put anything on top of them. So this will just sit on here. That will, those two policy things will go on this side. So I think I can glue this down now. Oh no, it'll be easier to do the policy closure. Right. Okay. So that's good. Oh, well we can... This on here. So we're going to glue this on. Might use the tacky glue for this. And just glue, what are we going to do? Glue it down this side. along the bottom and then we can tuck something into this little pocket too if we want to. I don't even know which is the right side. Right, there we go. Trim that off at the end later.
glue in the holes, but that's all right as long as it dries clear. Hopefully not too shiny. Okay, so we're just waiting for glue to dry now. Oh, I don't think I want it hanging down that much. Okay. Oh, I'll have to because I think that's the best way part to glue. That's okay. And then that's going to go there like that. And then our little cherub, she's going to go on there. Yeah, that's cute. Simple, not too much, but I like all, I don't really want to take away from what's, you know, the uh, graphics that are on there already. So that's cool. And then we'll have our two little um, polish, we'll have our policy uh, closure there. All right, and then I was going to put some things in this envelope. I started gathering something together. I just need to find it. Here it is. So I've had this old book page in my Christmas things for ages. It's from the Girls' Own Paper from 1800 and something. And it's just like a winter poemy thing and it's just our new Christmas part is now published so I thought oh it's Christmassy it's not really Christmassy for New Zealand because Christmas is summer then I had this little uh tag and so I'm going to pop that in there so I've made this little pocket with it again it probably it might need a little bit of reinforcement was actually is no I think it's okay so I'm going to have that as the front I think like that now I had this decoration and I put a hole in it and the holes in her head, I just don't, yeah. I'm not really that enamored by it. I wish I hadn't done that now. So I'm gonna actually, I'm not gonna use it because I just don't like where I've put the hole. It's a shame I ruined it, never mind. Um, I've got this sample little photo, so I'm going to put that in there. I've got this wee tag. I don't know if I'm going to put that in there. I could do. I've got some little stamps, and I had... What else? I had a little angely cherub thing that I had glittered up. I think I'll put a little frame in. That will good, look good there. So it's just some things for the recipient to uh, use in the journal as she works in it. Here it is. So I thought I might just paper clip. There's a couple of little Christmas religious stamps, which I think she'll like. And I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to paper clip it. So I'll just get my paper clips. little I've got these little mini ones they're really good quality they're they're vintage uh, and they're not rusty and I think I'll just do a not rusty one on here they're quite tight though so because they're really not flimsy so that's that I might use a little tiny one here where's my tiny and I'll attach that to there and so when that sits in there it's framed I like that so yeah I'm just collecting up little things that I want to you give to her to use in the journal so that's what that's gonna be but I'm not loving that on there. So we'll just have a think about where that might go. But that's okay. So that's that. And that's going to go in the envelope. The other thing I wanted to do was a tag that I made in the other one. And um, I'm going to do a repeat of that. So it looks like this. And 
and I'm going to do some stamping on here. So I think I'll do a little bit of gold around the edge of this. I'm liking the gold. So I'll get some scrap paper. So this is some watercolour card. And as you can see, I did a wonky. I put it into the embossing folder wonky, which I'm a bit disappointed about, but that's okay. It doesn't matter for this actually particular thing. And I'm just going to go around the edge of this with the gold patinating wax. Because it looks like when... Um, I actually don't know if this is one of mine that I've copied or one of Heather's from Ruby and Pearl um, digital prayer cards or holy cards I'm not sure what their official term is but anyway it looks like it had a gold edge originally so I'm just gonna go round with the gold and yeah once I've done this envelope and I think I need to do a few more trims on the pages. I think this journal will be done, so I'll be able to do a flip through. And hopefully the lady who's ordered it will like it and she'll purchase it. Otherwise, it will go into my shop. It's got lots of gold left. What am I going to do with it? <laughs> Side. Okay, we'll let that just dry a little bit. Now I wanted to put this on here and I want to stamp a word across there, but I'm not really sure what word. I've got some red ink and I'll get my letters. I'd already stamped one ready but I can't <laughs> you can tell I'm in a mess can't you because I can't find anything okay so I'm gonna try faithful I feel like that's a good word for this journal and I'm hoping it's not gonna bleed too much okay and I have to do it in two bits because I've only got one F okay try not to shake too much is that how you, it looks weird you know when you do a word and it looks weird Is it even a word now? I don't even know if it's even a word. Faithful. Yeah, it is. Does it have two L's? Okay, I'm going to have to check how to spell it because I don't want to get that wrong. One minute. Okay, thanks to you who were all yelling at me how to spell faithful. It is one L. I can spell, but looking at it there, it just looked really odd. So that sometimes happens, doesn't it? Okay, so I haven't got it right in the middle. Um, that's just what happens. So I'm going to glue that on. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to stitch it on. I'm going to stitch it on. That will give the other things more time to dry. Hopefully I haven't stuck anything on top of them. Yes, I have. There we go. Maybe I just run some glue along. I want that to stick up at the back. So I might just run some glue along here. Let's try and make it as even as possible. Let's have a look what that looks like. Yeah, that's okay. Right, and then I'll stitch across the bottom. Because why not? Isn't that funny when you stamp certain words? Like that often happens to me if I'm doing a word, yeah, stamping a word or something, and I look at it and I go, oh, that just looks really odd. 
<laughs> why is that? I don't know why. And then it then it's like, oh, is that even how you spell it? But spelling is the one thing I am good at. <laughs> Although you may doubt that now. But anyway, that's okay. Looks fine to me now. I don't know why it looked weird before. <laughs> So this will make a really sweet tag to go in one of the pockets in the journal and then hopefully the other things will be dry enough and we can finish that envelope and then that will be probably enough and then I'd like I'd quite like to do a video using the library cards that I've recently purchased which I'm going to put into my shop um, and I I'm Hmm. I'm pondering whether I do some of them as decorated and some plain for other people to decorate. I, yeah, but I need to get them in and the best way to package them so the postage is not too expensive. And I'm going to leave this exposed at the back. It can be covered up by somebody else if they don't like the stitching. But I like the stitching. Even though my knot there is a little bit messy. There we go. So that's glued at the top. I might just run a bit of glue along here as well. And then hopefully our card's nice and dry. I'm going to glue that on. I'm just going to use some glue stick. I love how this fabric has turned out with the stamping. I've used it a bit uh, and I'm almost out. In fact, I had trouble finding it. I thought, oh, I'm going to have to just um, try and be a bit more versatile and find something else. But you know when you've got something that you know it looks good and you want to just keep doing it. But yeah, I've run out pretty much there we go so that is a cute little sort of tall narrow tag and that's going to go into the journal somewhere yeah okay so that's that done right let's go back to this and glue some of this stuff down so that's glued where do we want I think I want it that way so I'm gonna glue this lace down I might even just use glue stick because it's not a heavy lace at all And then I'm going to glue this down, but I'll use some art glitter glue for this wee little cherub. And I will leave, there's going to be a lot of space in this journal. I, most of my journals do have quite a lot of blank pages in them. I don't like to put too much strain on the spine and I also like to make sure that the person who's receiving the journal can do whatever they want with it and there's more room to fit stuff in. They want to put stuff in there, photos in there, whatever. So yeah, that's kind of why I make them the way I make them. Sometimes I feel like, oh, have I not put, in, have I not put enough in? It's a hard balance, I think. Now underneath the cherub I can put a whole lot more glue to hold the, the lace down. There we go. So that's the front. Is that the front or the back? And this is the back, isn't it? I want to curve those edges. So I'm just going to use the corner rounder on those. So they're glued now so they should be and they should be dry so that should work all right hopefully yep. 
And then I'm going to do my little policy closures. So I need some of those brad clip things, those paper clips. Paper fasteners. How did they get the name brads? I don't know. I know that's what we called them when we back in the day when we scrapbook. I but I have no idea how they got to be called brads. It's a weird name. I mean, paper fasteners makes much more sense. I kind of want the more silvery looking ones. Do they match? Yes, good. Cool. So I'm never any good at finding the center of these little things. But I'm not going to worry too much about it. Try my best to get it in the center. Sort of center it there like that. Yeah, like that's kind of in the center. And... put our little paper fasteners through not too too bad and then again I want to get these in the center so yes well I'm going to use actually see that's off center because I've done it I'm going to put them there I know it's off center, but that's where it's going to go, right there. So that one is going in there. And this one is going to go right there. Hopefully they're sort of opposite each other. <laughs> Right, and then I'm going to cover those bits. I think I've got some more of that scrap somewhere, have I? Yep. Maybe I need a bigger circle punch, because they're quite long, those legs. Use my one inch punch. I think, this, is there enough paper? Yeah, just. That's good. We're using up scraps as well, which is always, always good, isn't it? Okay, and then I'm going to glue these down over those, um, over the, the legs of the paper fasteners. I mean, I know it doesn't look that pretty, but it stops things getting caught on them. That's what I'm going to do anyway. Which is why it's easy to do this before the envelope is closed. It doesn't want to stick down, so I'm just going to press that down because it's quite lumpy. But that will stop things catching. And then I'm going to hopefully just free this up a little bit. Yep. Okay. Cool. Now I can glue the envelope closed. decide what string I'm going to use to close it almost like that ribbon on it but no I don't think so I think the string maybe something gold This 
little wind around here. <laughs> I mean, it certainly doesn't need to be excessively tight. I'm just going to leave a little bit of a dangle because I might put something on the end of there. There we go. And that's going to go with... It's going to go with the journal, so... I'm happy with that, and it's going to have a few little goodies in it. So hopefully that was helpful or enjoyable. I feel like I've done that around the wrong way. I have. I'm disappointed about that. That's okay, never mind. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I'm going to probably tuck something in here. Okay, it's fine. It's fine the way it is. I don't know why I feel like... I'm just getting myself confused. It's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and, um, yeah, do some more on this journal and then hopefully I'll get it finished and a flip through. I hope you, um, that was helpful. Oh boy. Anyway, if, you did, if it wasn't helpful, maybe you got a giggle or not. Anyway, if you did enjoy it or you found it helpful, I'd love it if you would give it a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up or subscribe. That would be really, really helpful. YouTube will then know uh, what what kind of genre of people are interested in my, in my videos. So that would be great. Anyway, have a great rest of your week and I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.